if you don't sub, I'm going to disown you, dude. Seriously. All right, I'm going to quote what Anthony Joshua had to say. And I'm quoting AJ right now. I'm training from now on for that fight. It seems to be the most important one. The emails have been the cherry on the top as far as what the fight incurs as far as finance. But other than that, now we're just going through the finer details where it will be broadcasters and all of that. Promoters talk. You know what it means. That's it. Honestly, that's it. Who will promote the show? Where the first press conference will be. That's the fight I want. It's here now. We were looking at the options, the WBA mandatory is Pavekian, but I'm not really interested in that fight. Not for right now. When there's options to fight Wilder, that's it for this year. So that is what a unified uh, heavyweight champ of the world, AJ, had to say. He said that he's training for the Deontay Wilder fight starting from right now. Um, he said that right now his team is looking for, you know, when is the press conference? First press conference going to be, you know, you know, what broadcasters is going to be everything that fighters do and I guess promoters do before the fight. It's completely finalized. Right. You know, the normal. Um, so he's training for Wilder right now. This sounds like hopeful news, at least to me, uh, because he says he, he's, he doesn't want he says that the only fight he wants this year is the Deontay Wilder fight. That's what he said. The only fight I want is this fight. He doesn't want to, you know, he's not interested in Alexander Povekian. So, um, you know, let's just hope that Wilder feels the same way. You know what I'm saying? Let's hope that Wilder feels the same way. Let's hope that Wilder stops milking his belt. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, Wilder's been milking his belt since 2015, since the day he, since January 17, 2015, since the day he, he won the belt. So let's hope that finally he stops milking it because this is a really big opportunity for him. Um, to be a very powerful uh, figure in the world of boxing because if you have all four belts, that's a game changer right there, right? You're a very powerful man, especially if you beat a cash cow. You know, there's a saying in boxing, if you beat a cash cow, you become the cash cow. And I think that's very true. You know, Wilder, he's never been a big money draw. He's never had the biggest fan base, right? He's never had the biggest purses, but if he were to fight AJ and if he were to beat AJ, he's going to be seen by many people, right? A lot of people, and he's going to have all the belts. If he beats AJ, he will have all the belts, so he will have a lot of power, right? A lot of power in the negotiating tables, right? If if if, if Deontay Wilder were to win and then, um, like say, have a rematch with AJ, then he could start saying that, you know, it would be a lot more reasonable there for him to say, you know, I want, like, say, a 70% split or a 50% split. You know, he could, or I want the fight to happen in America, right? He could have a lot to say at that position because he'll have all the belts, right? Um, but, like, I, I've been saying this for a long time. You know, Wilder just has to really bite down and ignore. You know, I understand that people have egos. You know, people have egos. They don't like being told that they're only going to get this percentage or they're only going to get that percentage or you know you, you're you going to fight here you're going to fight there I, I get that you know I have an ego nobody likes being told what to do I totally understand man but sometimes you have to you know let these you know egos put these walls down bro <laughs> put these walls down and like let these things happen because it's going to benefit you if everything goes you know, right for you, you know, for example, you know, Mayweather is a very egotistical guy, Floyd Mayweather Jr., very egotistical guy, you know, when you look at Mayweather, he's always talking about money, right, money this, money that, you know, he has all these women around him, he has these cars, these mansions, money seems to be a big deal to Mayweather, but, you know, when Mayweather fought Oscar de la Hoya, he had to get the lore of the percentage in that fight, at the time, Oscar was the cash cow, Mayweather wasn't, right, um, so what did Mayweather do? You know, he took received less money than Oscar De La Hoya. I'm pretty sure Mayweather at the time felt that he deserved to get the higher percentage, right? Because he's like, man, I'm undefeated. You know, uh, I'm this, I'm that. But he realized, you know, what well, he bit down and he took the less percentage of the purse and he beat Oscar De La Hoya. And look what happened to his career. He became the cash cow. He became the pay-per-view star or he called himself the pay-per-view king, right? Pay-per-view cow, whatever. 
Um, but the, the thing was, he fought the cash cow to do that, right? And ever since then, all his other fights, he was always, you know, the A side, right? He was always getting the high percentage of the purse. So I think that's what Wilder needs to do. He needs to uh, just bite down, just ignore, t- let his egos, like, just don't have an ego for this fight. And if you, and then train your ass off and really focus on fighting Anthony Joshua. And if you beat him, then that's when you could start really demanding anything you want, really. You know, you want the fight to happen in, you know, Alabama. Have it happen in Alabama. Have it happen in, you know, the Legacy Arena over there in Alabama. Uh, make Joshua come. You know, you could be like, you know, Joshua maybe go to the UK where your ass is coming over here now. You know, and it'll be fair, right? It'll be fair because you have all the belts. So you have to say, you know, you have the right to say that. Unfortunately, like right now, it really, Anthony Joshua does, you know, a lot of people, they don't like when people say this, but it's true. At this current moment, Anthony Joshua's kind of did more to deserve the fact that uh or have the you know the right really to demand where he wants these things to be you know where he wants these fights to happen he earned the right to do that because he has three out of the four major belts you know even if he wasn't a paper look people keep saying oh it's you know uh, because he's a cash cow listen man even if he wasn't a cash cow he still has three out of the four major belts i would still feel the same way i would still be like listen he Earned the right to do that. It's kind of look, look at Terence Crawford. Terence Crawford is not necessarily a cash cow, right? He's it's not like he makes fifteen million dollars a fight. He's not a cash cow, but Terence Crawford, you know, he had three out of the four major belts where he always had the majority of belts. So I would always be on his side if he's saying like I want the let, let's say he says I want the fight to happen in Omaha, Nebraska, because that's where I live and I want to fight in front of my hometown. I wouldn't be complaining about that. You know, let's say he would have told, you know, Victor Polsto or uh, Julius Ndongo to go to fight him there. Or let's say he would have stayed at, uh, you know, 140 and defended his crowns. Let's say he would have fought Sergey Liptonis. And let's say he would have said, you're going to fight me in Omaha, Nebraska. I wouldn't be here saying, oh, you know, who does he think he is? No, because he has the right to demand anything because he has four of the major belts so you better go to his backyard to fight him right so it's, that's how i feel with aj right now you know he kind of has that the higher power if i guess you can say uh but yeah guys you know hopefully this fight happens um I, like i said i think the fight's gonna happen in 2012 but or excuse me 2020 but uh you know hey hopefully i'm wrong you know he says he's training for Wilder. He says this means everything to him. So hopefully this means everything to Deontay Wilder as well. You know, and hopefully he just sets his ego uh, aside for the moment. Anyway, guys, if you watch the video from start to finish, as always, much appreciated. Uh, I do appreciate it, guys. And uh, subscribe for daily boxing.